All right, so you guys, Josh here today. Uh, today I thought I'd bring you guys some, uh, some of this. And what I mean of this, I mean of uh, the plane that flies by. Have to do the rituals. I kind of now know exactly when it spawns. So basically, what you want to do is uh. You want to do what I'm doing? Oh, and if you're wondering what I'm doing here, I kind of am special needs. And I forgot that in this area and when you go through that opening, you can't go through it in the free roam camera thing. So as you can see there, I'm like special needs. That was after like I cut it down. There was like five minutes of me doing that crap. And then I'm like, what well, let me do? I'm like, stop doing it. So yeah, that's about the area where you have to be. Uh, this I found was pretty interesting. If you look closely here, right under that is the uh, Alcatraz background. And in about a second, I'm going to show you a comparison between the Alcatraz thing, Gosh, like right there. As you this. can see, that's clearly the exact same photo and everything. Now, is Shadows of Evil and Alcatraz in the same universe? Quite possibly it could be because of the timeline. Timeline is roughly the same as you can see there. It is roughly the same so it could be. So the the about the exact time that that thing flies over is right after the Marguar spawns after doing the rituals is roughly when it'll spawn. Now I was sitting here, I'm like, now it's time to play the waiting game. So yeah, like I said, all you have to do is basically wait until you hear the Margo spawn, and then you should be able to hear it. Well, no, you shouldn't hear it, but you should see it fly over. There's nobody on it, so I was hoping to see, like, the weasel and stuff fly by. So that, that clip you just saw previous was I was playing the waiting game, and then now here I was playing the waiting game. I cut a lot of it because there was a lot of just footage of me sitting there, and there it is. I'm like, yay, I see it. There's no one on it, though. I'm like, oh. And then I was trying to see if it would glitch through a building. Animation would be funny, but it, it doesn't. So yeah, here's extra footage. I did film, I did film a little bit here because I wanted to make sure I got everything 100% correct, that everything is good. And yeah, you'll see here that uh, uh, I did actually see it. Well, no, I didn't see it, but it flew right over my head in a certain moment. So you just have to pretty much wait. And then yeah. Oh, uh, talking about Jeff Goldblum, that I was him. Uh, I think Jurassic World number two, Jeff Goldblum is going to be in it. Not 100% sure, not 100% sure at all. But yeah, look closely though. When I go to third person, you can see it right about uh, now. Yeah, there it is. See, I was I was at the right moment, but I just didn't see it. So that's about it, everybody. Uh, uh, that's it for this video. There's me just running around doing stuff. So thanks for watching. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, just like always, a price. Are we ready? Go. For 1,000. Close in your weapon. Give them to me now. That was weird. All seven perks.